Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trofin at the Babbling Belgian and welcome back to God of War. We're back in Midgard, as you can see, after our adventures in Niflheim and Muspelheim. And, uh, yeah, story time first. Lad, there comes a time in every man's life when he changes his name and heads north to make a new start. If you live long enough to do this many times over, you might end up as far north as this place. By the time I arrived, I already knew Odin by his reputation. And so I set to demonstrate my work by coming to him with something I knew he'd value. A mystic well of knowledge. Or rather, I should say, a well of water laced with enough mystic mushrooms to make a god see visions. Oh, he was rightly impressed. Can't say for sure what he saw that led him to try gouging out his own eyes, but I managed to restrain him before he finished the job. Then I persuaded him it has been his sacrifice made for an even higher form of sight to be bestowed. Blah, de blah, de blah, de blah. I used to think he never caught on. But the day he took my eye, I realized he had never been fooled. He knew I'd outwitted him, called the lesson wisdom, and hired me to make sure from then on I was on his side. And for a long, long time I truly was. Doesn't mean he didn't hold a grudge. Yeah, Mimir is a... A sly little bastard, but first job of the day, we're going to go to the Council of Valkyries because there's supposed to be another uh, treasure hidden there because it's the last treasure map we found a while back, but uh, we should be able to find something there. And I'll drop off the last helmet we found as well. So I never noticed this, but at the Council of Valkyries, there's mountains with heads carved into them, which is... Uh, Peculiar, another very, very nice site. But somewhere, yeah, somewhere around here, there should be buried treasure. Aha! Okay, right next to the waterfall, as the uh, image depicted. There we go. Getting that treasure out of there. And we get Unstable Ore and Treasure Hunter. So that was indeed the final treasure map. A volatile substance that sparks on contact. And I can use that to uh, upgrade our Blades Pommel. An Eye of Runic Supremacy, taking damage during a Runic attack, reduces damage by 30%, don't really care about that. And there we go, the last place they'd looked. And uh, 5 Hardens for Tlfheim Steel as well. That's uh, a nice start, so let's put the helmet over here. And have a little backstory about the Niflheim Valkyrie. Let's talk. Well, well, Hildar, mistress of battle. She and Odin got on quite well, actually. Her and the other Valkyries, not so much. She would spend most of her time here in Midgard observing discord between the living and sewing some up herself from time to time. She lived for conflict. Some say she was conflict personified. I wonder what will become of her now that she's free. Okay. Well, goodbye, Hildy. We'll, uh, we'll see you all back soon. So that means we have one, two, three, four empty seats. So we need to gather four more Valkyries, defeat four more Valkyries before we can fill all the thrones and get probably a, a ninth one. But next up is uh, I think another dragon because if you remember when we were fighting Baldur uh, when Atreus was still mad at us we uh, well landed on an armored dragon which we eventually wounded badly enough that it crash landed in the lake well, to the side of the lake and that's exactly what I want to check out because that's going to be something I suppose. So there it is, right underneath Jormungandr is the dragon and I'm wondering if it's still alive. I still don't get why you ever wanted to work for Odin. Back then I was young enough to still be ambitious. The Aesir gods were as powerful a force as I'd come across but they clearly lacked for strategy, focus and sage counsel. All this could I faithfully provide. And so, a stranger from a far-off island found himself with Odin's ear, trusted as he trusted no one but himself. And with that kind of power, laddie, I must confess, there are perps. Yeah, but he's Odin. I never claim to be perfect, laddie, only clever. And often too clever by half. So what'd you do to get Odin so mad at you? Well, for a long time my job was to enable Odin, and I was fucking excellent at it. Gradually, as I grew more to care about people and the world, my job became to contain him, to protect him from himself. By serving peace, I served his interests as well. That's the truth. But he saw it as disloyalty. 
No longer trusting my motives but not wishing to part with my brain or tongue, he bound me to a tree and adopted a new pastime of casual torture. Yeah. Oh, I'm glad we came along to cut off your head. Aye, lad. Lucky break that was. Yeah, you mess with the bull, you get the horns, but we'll uh, get to the back of this area. I think this is the way to reach that dragon, I would think. Because this is uh, pretty much the easiest way to get to the back of that uh, portal. Don't know which one this is. We also need to go around the lake anyway to light the rest of the braziers now that we know uh, the Niflheim uh, cipher. So I think this is actually one of those. So let's just do that first. Yeah, we're definitely close. And it seems to be dead. But first this, because I don't think I lit these braziers. Yeah, there we go. So our first Niflheim braziers. Another Valkyrie. That's no coincidence. But who'd have etched them on Tyr's braziers? So, three left. But first, the dragon. So that is actually our fifth dragon. Um, I'm looking at it now, I can't really reach it. It does have one of those colors on, but yeah. Maybe there's something underneath them. Give me a second, I'm gonna run around. That dragon, that's Baldur's, doesn't it? Yes. And you brought it down, to save me? It was very heroic. Yes, indeed it was, but how do we get back up? I think I need to go through the cave. This is a very confusing bit of the map, because you have those, uh, those little caves strewn around, because I think this is just the other side of the wall, because you can see the opening over there from where we were before, but here it curves around, allowing us to go up here. There we go, very big dragon. Can we actually do anything with it? Uh, it did drop something, and I think we're missing one more dragon tier. So that must be it then, I suppose. Yep, there we go, dragon tier. The last one to upgrade, uh, I think it's the Valkyrie Talisman. Um, so yeah, let's head back down. I'm gonna go to Brock and Sindri to uh, upgrade our Blades pommel and then also the uh, the talisman that the Dragon Tears are required for. So give me a second. So, back to our Dwarven brothers. They have something to say, but if it's something we've heard already, I'll skip it. Something else we can do for you? Ah, okay, yeah, it's the same, it's the same freaking well. voice line. So, I upgraded the, the Axe Pommel, the, not the Axe Pommel, the Blades Pommel to its maximum level now, so the one with the bombs. And I also upgraded the Shattered Gauntlet of Ages to its maximum level, so now I can have three enchantments on it. But somebody in the comments told me that I can actually use this with projectiles now. I put Anvari Soul in it and two other uh, gems, and I'm wondering if this now works. It didn't seem to fire projectiles, but it did look a bit different than it did before. So I'm wondering if I'm doing something wrong, because right now I have a perfect symbol of the realm, a Anvari Soul, and then a perfect aspect of the realm. Those bottom two actually look like Infinity Stones, but I don't know about the first one. Do I have another one that looks like that? I don't. Because it's just the top one that looks like a diamond. Well, if I'll, I'll keep a lookout for uh, more that look like that, more enchantments that look like that. But for now, uh, we need to be heading towards more of the braziers that we need to light. So let's do that. Okay. What about the giant with eight arms? Starcast the mighty. If the giants ever had anything so organized as an army, Starcast would have been their general. An opinion, in retrospect, I should have kept myself. But no, as Odin's advisor, I kept him advised. And having bent his will towards Starkath's doom, there was no dissuading him. But even Thor wasn't stupid enough to take on Starkath on his own. No, instead the Aesir set forth slanders upon Starkath's name, branding him throughout the realms as a monster to be feared. They said he abducted an elf queen who killed herself rather than be ravished by the giant. Lies, of course, but you're too young for her story. In the end, 
Even the Vanir gods and the armies of Midgard were roused to the cause. They surrounded Starkar, showered him with arrows until he was brought to his knees. He surrendered, hoping by trial he could clear his name. Thor took advantage and ripped off one of Starkath's arms, which only made it easier to sever another and another until he was satisfied. Relieved of six arms and too much blood, Starkath perished upon the battlefield. Ah, I regret it to this day, you know. I told myself there was nothing I could do, but I wish I'd tried. Man, I love these stories. By the way, there's like something up there. To the top right, right next to the, the pillar now. Hmm, don't know what that is, but that's like the brazier over here. There we go, the next Valkyrie name. name. And it is Hilde, so that's the Niflheim. Uh, they've been made into a memorial to the, the Niflheim Valkyrie. Yeah, indeed. Memorials, but... Yeah, I mean, they kind of look like ghosts, so that kind of fits. I'm actually wondering, it says 6 out of 8, but... I think that's the only one I'm still missing. Guess we'll see. Next up. Another name. Gunnar. Gunnar. The Muspelheim one. That's all the ones I see. How yeah. How are we supposed to light the braziers on a tower that's not there? Someone who loved the Valkyries enough to do this? I wonder. Perhaps the Queen? Ooh, perhaps the queen. So I'm guessing once we finish up the story and go to Jotunheim proper, we'll be able to uh, light the brazier, the last brazier over there, because that gate must be somewhere. So uh, I guess we'll see about that. Now, uh, next up, as promised, we're going to start eliminating the rest of the Valkyries. So the first one is going to be relatively close by, if I recall correctly. Because I'm trying to do this uh, just by heart to avoid spoiling myself and checking things out on the internet. I'm not going to do that, so uh, see you guys in a second. So, first up in here, there were two things I could read if I had the Niflheim runes. What does it say? Yes, sir. So this one I couldn't oh, read yeah. before. I can translate this now. Niflheim. Land of fog and fortune. Okay. Aye. And a bloody infinite number of traps. Okay. Fair enough. Easy, but uh, nothing else it seems. So, pass, to me. so past where we first found Sindri. There is supposed to be one over here, if I recall correctly. No, that's not. Just freeze it. Thank you. And go through. And I think... Um, ah, I'm going the wrong way, I think. So, I... I think it was over here on the right, where we fought a few revenants before, and then the yeah the winds of hell puzzle over here. But in this cave, is yeah there at the end. There's the next uh, hidden chamber of Odin. So let's crack this open. There we go, right next to each other, and uh, crack open the vault. Yeah, seems uh, very familiar. The same kind of uh, elevator that we saw before. Chambers open three out of seven, which means there are four more. But, hmm. That is interesting. So, aside from this one, there are four more chambers, but we only need to kill four more Valkyries. I think I talked about this before. So, one of the chambers is not going to house a Valkyrie, then, I suppose. Hello? Yeah, okay, okay, there is one. Okay, fair enough. Hmm. Really curious what uh, the special ability of this one is going to be, because we had fire with the meteors in Muspelheim, and we had the ice storms that the one in Niflheim could do, the shock storms from the one below the witch. So I'm guessing we're running out of elements really quickly. And the other one, there was actually a pathway underneath, but I don't really. Oh wait, yeah, over here on the left and the right. So, if I go below, there should be more chests. And more like treasures as well. There's like horns all over the place. So that's nothing, and this is probably just a bit of hack silver. Okay, let's get cracking with the fight. It's another Valkyrie. We're gonna save her, right? If I save her, course. I mean brutally rip her wings off, then my vote is I. Enough, both of you. 
I will decide the best course of action. Why are we walking? This is the first time we're walking slowly. She has flowers on her wings. I don't want to hit her. Um. Well then. Prepare yourself. Okay, so that's the airstrike. Seems doable for now. Oh, that was a big one. Oh, yeah. Ooh, she's aerial. Okay, she... Yeah. She has a lot of abilities, holy crap. Just gonna... Do a tree and smack. Let's power up the axe. Oh, blocked just in time. Oh, wow. That's the charge. Oh. And then just cut closer. Oh, ow. Oh, that was a big one. Oh, yeah. Okay, I dodged at the wrong time. Almost had her there. She's doable. She's doable. We're gonna get her. You know what? We have like a little toy, don't we? Let's uh, do the Meteor Strike. Oh god. Oh god. I think we'll have her in a second. This seems uh, doable. Yeah, let's dodge out of the way and get her in the back. Oh, don't need to dodge that. There we go. Dodge, dodge. Ah, fuck, fuck, fuck. No, no, no. Yeah, okay, never mind. But you know what? I like starting with the meteor thingy. Oh, I blocked that. Charge the axe. Thought she was gonna do a stab there. Oh no, don't dodge the projectiles. That one you need to dodge. Oh god. Okay. Oh. 
Oh, I dodged. I dodged, but... Okay, that's just blocking, and then get at it. Ooh, I got it! I got it! I got it with the tracer's arrows, and down, one wing, and two wing. Yeah, you know the drill by now. There we go. Goodbye, my lady. You are free. Fifth Valkyrie. Ah, freedom. Holy Cursed crap! No longer. <laughs> A joyous day indeed. Oof, this one is louder than the last. Yeah, indeed, holy Please crap. tell us, why were you in this physical form? Why fight us? I do not know. The soul of a Valkyrie cannot remain pure in a physical body. Stop yelling. In the spirit world, which is where I now go. Goodbye. What the fuck was that? Let's rip her head off. Or her helmet or whatever, because whatever you want to tell yourself. Because I still feel like we're ripping her head off. That's a horrible helmet, by the way. But goodbye! Somebody made them this way. Who? And why? I... I wouldn't want to speculate. You know something. Ah, Mimia, the smartest man alive! I know many things. Head? Ah... Uh, Sigrun, the queen of the Valkyries. She would have that power. The last time I saw her, she was corporeal herself. She came to visit me long after I'd been imprisoned by Odin. Why? Well, we had history, I guess you could say. Like, romantic history? Ah, oh, like, you're making me blush. Can I still blush? First we hunt these creatures, and now we chase your former lover. We do not need a distraction. It's more than a distraction. Father, these are Valkyries. They're the ones who keep the dead from overrunning Midgard. Then they are terrible at their job. It's not their fault, brother. Someone awesome. changed them. Kept them from their duty. The Queen? I can't say for sure, lad. We should ask more of them. If, of course, you don't mind the distraction. Okay, so Mimir was getting uh, down and dirty with the Valkyrie Queen. Good to know. And that is, ooh, our first batch of perfect Asgardian steel. That is nice. And then we have... Whatever this is, another, ooh, another epic enchantment, Heart of Vanaheim, moderate perk activation chance to grant a short boost to runic strength or defense on any successful hit, or not all of them, but yeah, fair enough, sounds good on each successful hit, let's equip that, or not, because it's terrible, um, you know what, let's head towards the next one, we're, we're gonna roll right now, so uh, let's uh, get to the next one. So, last but not least, we're heading back home. So we're back where we started the game, because uh, if you remember, we found one of those gates at the very beginning of the game, and that's one of the one that I want to check out again. Um, I do need to get my bearings a bit, because it's been a while. And of course, knowing me, I took the, uh, the longest possible way through this place. And just take care of the draw because we're used to fighting these bastards right now. Okay, there we go. The hidden chamber of Odin right next to our own house. And there we go. It was a tree pointer, that one. I can't believe it was next to Mother's Garden this whole time. No wonder we can never get in there. It does look different than the other ones. It is still a hidden chamber of Odin. But it looks a bit different. Just gonna grab the health zone because no, I didn't even get hit. Never mind. So let's go. Okay, this this looks more familiar. Going down. So next up we have uh, that doesn't look like a Valkyrie. That does not look like a Valkyrie. Looks like a realm there. Oh, we were missing one. That is convenient. <laughs> I wonder what that's going to be. If it's just going to be trash, it's going to be a stupid ending to an episode, but... 
Let's um, check that out. It's definitely not a not a Valkyrie. So that explains the the one hidden chamber that was not never gonna be a Valkyrie. There's two chests around. Okay, what the hell? And rip them apart. One lonely level seven draw. Ah, give him what for. That gave us a bit of hack silver, but yeah, it's weird that that was guarded by uh, one draugr. But yeah, don't mind if we do. Ten thousand hack silver. Well, eight thousand five hundred. Keep thinking positive. So, what is this? Looks fancy. Just gonna grab this while we're here. Here, boy. Ooh, a yes, scroll. Sir. Oh, it's another dwarf. He's oh, been vaporized by a soul devourer. To the next poor fool to find this place, you'd be wiser to flee than to brave the dangers within. But count yourself lucky I came before you to unwittingly free the prior occupant and die a fool in the process. I came for treasure and found only death on wings. I tried to step out of the realm, but she wouldn't let go. It tore most terribly. The tree bleeds for my foolishness. Her magic will surely ripple through this realm for ages, tearing at its fabric. And for what? I'm dead and she's escaped just the same. Why did I fight it? Fool, fool, fool. How can you write something down if you're dead? My only solace is her jailer followed close behind. To Muspel it might have been, or Niflheim. Either way she'll be caught, though they'll need a new prison. I've ruined this one. The Lindworm comes for me. So this was the chamber that held either Gunner or Hilder. So Niflheim or Muspelheim. But what is this? There we go. Focus up. Ah, meteor strike. Oh, I'm losing health fast. There we go, she's down. And he's down. Okay. Fair enough. That seemed to be it. Just grabbing this. Are there multiple rounds or is this it? Yeah. That seems to be it. There we go. That is pure essence of realms, so that's the higher quality stuff. And the dust of realms, there we go. And we got Heart of Svartalfheim. Legendary enchantment adds a very small amount of constant health regeneration. So that can stack with Ivaldi's armor. So round there is close, 17 of 18. Wait, but there are three of them in... This isn't right. There's, there's three of them in... Um... In Niflheim alone. Hey, wait for me. Yeah, I'll, I'll wait for you. This is this doesn't make any sense. But uh, I'm just thinking about where the other chambers are. I know there's one halfway up the mountain. Um, but I'm just thinking about where are the other ones. I think there's even one in uh, Alfheim. So we might want to check back over there before we... Uh, do anything else but you know what i'm gonna take a little break we've done enough this episode so thank you guys enormously for watching if you enjoyed the episode don't forget to like it right here on youtube and when we get back we'll uh try and clear out the rest of the valkyries i know that sounds maybe a bit too simple because i'm assuming the valkyrie queen is going to be one hell of a woman uh but yeah we'll see about that in the next episode so thank you guys again enormously for watching and i hope to see you in the next episode of god of war goodbye